Let's say you're going to a family reunion and you want to show everyone there how they're related to each other. Of course, a great way to do that is to bring a descendant chart. And we can do that in reunion by selecting the chart view and selecting the descendant chart option and making the setting changes we want to, such as including preferred pictures from our family file. And of course, changing the number of generations you want to include in the chart. We usually want to have this a higher number so we can include as many people as we can in the chart, but I'm going to keep it at four for the purposes of this demo. Okay, we can create the chart. At Heartland Family Graphics, we usually recommend that you bring a top to bottom orientation chart to the reunion because it's easy to hang on the wall and when people want to step up and view the information on the chart it's easy, easy for them to spread out and, and not have to get in each other's way. I can't exactly see what's going on with this chart so I'm going to zoom out from a hundred percent viewing scale to 10% viewing scale. And as you can see, this particular top to bottom orientation chart exhibits an issue pretty common to this orientation, and that is it's extremely wide and not very tall. And we can verify that by looking at the chart information, and we can see that this particular chart is about 55 feet wide and only seven inches tall. That'll definitely spread people out, but it might be hard to find that 55 foot wall to hang the chart on. But we can correct this with one of my favorite features of the Reunion Chart Editor, and that is the top to bottom waterfall orientation. What the waterfall portion of this does is reduce the overall width of the chart by stacking the bottom portion of each branch of the tree in these vertical columns. It looks like in this particular case we may have reduced the width a bit too much and made the chart a bit too tall and that's because we started the waterfalling in the second generation from the top of the tree. But we can correct this through a trial and error process. While we're zoomed out like this and can see what's going on with the tree, we can go ahead and change the waterfall setting to see if we can find something that will work better for us. I'll change it to starting in the third generation. And this is looking a little bit better. It looks wider than starting in generation two, but not too wide. And it's got some nice information in the vertical access here. So um, this is looking pretty good. I'm not sure this is the best we can do though. So uh, I'll try starting the waterfall in generation four. And it looks like we're back to what's essentially the top to bottom orientation. And this is not really where we want to be. So I'll go ahead and go back to the third, third generation start point and we can accept that and double check the actual dimensions by going to chart information and as you can see this is only about 15 feet wide instead of 55 and we've got more information in the vertical uh, almost two feet tall now so this is looking pretty good this is a chart I'd recommend you bring to the reunion if this were your family I should point out that the best results usually occur when you select a setting that causes the waterfall to start in the first, second, or third generation from the bottom of your chart. But it's hard to give you a number that will work for that in all cases because it really depends on the number of generations you have in your chart overall. You might have also noticed that every time I clicked this up or down arrow, in the orientation box, the chart redrew. And that can be kind of tedious if you have a lot of generations in your chart and you're scrolling from one generation to the next. But you can work around that 
by either turning off the live preview like this or by simply typing directly into the field with a number rather than just using the arrow keys. What I hope you get from this video is that there's a top to bottom waterfall orientation that exists and it can be used to improve the proportions of your chart that you bring to your reunion. The best way to find those good proportions is to simply zoom out and watch the chart as you change the different settings in the orientation window. So I hope this is helpful for you to create a chart that you'll be proud to show to your relatives and I thank you for watching.